Dr. Dan, great to speak with you. Overall, it sounds like you're negative in the markets, but you think maybe a bear market rally is upon us soon? Yeah, I tweeted that out on Friday. I mean, if you look back at our Twitter account uh, several times during this year, we pointed out when we thought the next bear market rally would start. But we pointed out we think the S&P ultimately goes down to 3,000. Uh, we've been saying that since May. Um, we started the year thinking the market would be down 20 percent, revised it to down 30 to 50 with 3,000 as our estimate. But you get these bear market rallies along the way, and over 70 percent of our technical indicators was flashing over sold when the market was down about 2.4 percent on Friday. So we try to stay disciplined, even though, you know, Mondays you get big crashes a lot of times, following bad weeks, bad closes. But you should expect that. And so covered our shorts today. We'll probably add to our longs. Um, we're still sitting over 50 percent of the portfolio in cash. Um, that'll become less um, over time. And, you know, we came into this year saying we thought cash would be one of the best investments for retail investors unless they could trade their portfolio daily. And that's still our belief. All right. Um, so when you position for that rally, Dan, what would you be deploying money to? So I think you want to pick sectors where the fundamentals are strong, and there's very few of those. So um, we started nibbling on the energy sector again um, on Friday. Um, the defensive areas, so Walmart, if you go back to 2008, people shop at Walmart when you enter a recession. The stock was up 18% in 2008. The S&P was down 38%. You know, healthcare, people want to live. So, healthcare is a good defensive area. So, um, that's another good space. We actually, if you want to get more aggressive, um, we like the online sports betting space. So, uh, DraftKings, we bought some uh, Penn National on Friday, actually, um, uh, as a land based uh, casino, but has a good online sports betting uh, presence as well. Um, so you can there, there are sectors to look, but you got to be willing to trade it daily. Our view is if you get a decent bounce then you put your shorts back on. That's kind of how we're playing this um, right now. And we're looking for our shorts to make us money between now and mid next year when the market ultimately bottoms, not our longs. I mean, that's why we're up for the year. It's not our longs. It's right. our short this money. Um, so, I mean, bear market rallies are also opportunities to sell. Uh, whether it be shorting or selling positions. And so I'm wondering how you look at that and, and what you would be poised to short and or sell. Yeah, no, that's, it's a great point, Melissa. So it's the same stuff we've been negative on all year. So during COVID, people ran out and bought smartphones. They ran out and bought PCs. So everything that benefited from COVID, that's the stuff you want to reshort. We think people are going to take down smartphone estimates for the year, more focused on the low to mid end, but we worry about the high end as we get towards Christmas. Same thing with the PC sector. Um, enterprise software, we think, is the new thing that's going to have a big problem as we enter next year because everybody goes on the Internet. All the businesses go on during COVID. Now people are going out and doing things in a physical manner. You're going to need less software licenses, enterprise licenses next year. You've got Google, Facebook, you know, Amazon all can't hire enough people at the beginning of last year. Now they're all you know, freezing or laying off uh, people. That's going to ultimately go back into the enterprise hardware names um, mm -hmm. as well. And finally, Internet advertising. Don't forget, you've got Disney and Netflix both launching ad-supported tiers coming up. That's going to take away money from other Internet advertising-led companies. So those are two new areas we're looking to put our shorts back on um, or, again, put them on. Um, as hopefully the market rallies over the course of this next week. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.